So in the last class, <coughs> we had stopped at move 1. We illustrated the first move and this is what happened. So we had just swapped two operands 3 and 7 <coughs> and uh, we saw the animation where the area was changed in this manner. So this is the floor plan we have got. Now we will see an example of the second move which was swapping, uh, complementing a chain of operators. So here we have the present polish expression like this where the last chain of operators is complemented. So VH becomes HV. <coughs> and um, you can see that there was H and a V here and this move has changed it like this. <coughs> now this move significantly affects the floor plan. You must understand that it, just a small change complementing two operators can significantly affect the floor plan. So let us see that. So we have the <coughs> initial area of 14 by 13 and we have the last two operators being H and V. Let me start again. So this is the initial area, the slicing tree and we want to complement this last two operators as we will see here. You can see how this dramatically affects the uh, floor plan. So we are complementing the operators. And you can see how the floor plan changes. Right? You can check here that the floor plan has significantly changed because of this move. You can, if you are, or if you want, you can also cross check this. That um, we can see that all this and um, module eight is there. Module eight is at the bottom, and uh, seven, three, four, six are at the top. So what is on the left is on the top, and what is on the right is at the bottom. <coughs> it it has become a horizontal uh, operator which governs the relation between the modules 7, 3, 4, 6 and 8. So they are, they are cut horizontally in this manner because this is a horizontal operator. You remember I will go to the starting again and initially it was not so. So we have uh, the modules 3, 4, 7, 6 and 8 cut by a vertical operator. So you have 3, 4, 7, 6 and 8 cut by a vertical operator here. That is what we have here. But as you apply this move, they are the vertical operator has become a horizontal operator the between the modules 7, 3, 4, 6 and 8. <coughs> Okay, I hope that illustrates the second move very clearly. And uh, this is the corresponding change in the floor plan after the second move. So you can see that there has been a drastic change in the floor plan in the placement of modules and uh, the area too. Now the third move, <coughs> I said that we can swap an operand and an operator. So in the third move, given this polish expression, we are going to swap 6 and V and uh, we will see how, you know, as you can see here, the slicing tree has changed. You can see that uh, the change is highlighted and we'll see how it affects the floor plan. <coughs> Let me put it on pass. This is the initial 
this is the initial float plan to start with after the second move <coughs> and uh, we are going to make the move here right but this move also drastically affects the floor plan this is the <coughs> resulting floor plan after applying this move you can see that <coughs> 6 and 8 are governed by a horizontal operation and uh, all the other modules and 6 and 8 are governed by a vertical operation right and um, so this has also drastically affected the floor plan if you remember if I just go back to what it was before <coughs> before applying this move you can see that <coughs> we had um, all these modules 7, 3, 4, 6, 7, 3, 4, 6 and 8 governed by a horizontal cut right 7, 3, 4, 6 and 8 governed by a horizontal cut but after the <coughs> when the move was applied the the slicing tree had changed drastically as you can see and so has the floor plan in fact as you can see here that the floor plan has highly been optimized now so this is just an example of how by <coughs> changing the uh, applying some moves to the polish expression we can optimize the floor plan <coughs> so this is the final move which they have uh, shown now so what I wanted to conclude is that the polish expression the normalized polish expression is a very concise representation of the floor plan and that can be used together with an optimization technique like simulated annealing to optimize floor plans having large number of modules and this has been a very successful algorithm for floor planning thank you